but she's so beautiful that he, he can't help but falling for her whenever he's in her presence. He's absolutely intoxicated. Your intoxication and vulnerability is something that you carry around all the time because at, at core, you have a deep loneliness. And so when a beautiful woman or something comes along that offers you a sense of feeling connected to life like a normal person, it's going to become absolutely intoxicating because you're so hungry. You're, you're so thirsty for, for connection. And this thirst and this vulnerability only become blindingly clear with regard to this con that, that's being run on you right now. So loneliness is a warning sign that, that something's seriously, seriously wrong with your life. And it's, it's impossible to just live with loneliness day in and day out, not do anything about it. A woman who smiles at you at the checkout line, the, the cashier, you start developing fantasies that she's interested in you. Or you start developing uh, conspiracy theories about how what everyone's telling you about XYZ is not true. Or you start getting paranoid, thinking that uh, everyone who looks at you a certain way or speaks to you a certain way, that they are engaged in you know, some nefarious plot to strangle you, or you're going to check out through using marijuana or through using pornography or through drinking or video games. But the state of being lonely is absolutely unbearable. And so we will try to damp it down inside of us by getting paranoid, by getting depressed, by getting angry, by conspiracy theorizing by um, obsessing over women who are not available to us. Uh, so loneliness makes us vulnerable.